Hi everyone. In this video you're going to see a demonstration of a normal approach and landing in a way that you may not have seen before. I know that there are tons of videos, book chapters, magazine articles, etc. that describe how to do the perfect landing, but hopefully this will be something new for all of you, especially you student pilots out there that are struggling to make some nice landings. This video is as much for other flight instructors out there as it is for those wanting to improve their landings. So the past few flights I've heightened my perception skills and I've started to really be aware of everything that my student was doing in the pattern. And I noticed that he rarely, if ever, would retrim the airplane. A couple of times I asked him, is the airplane in trim or did you trim the airplane? And he would always answer yes. But it wasn't until our last lesson when I was driving home did I realize that I wasn't even asking the right question. So the next lesson, the one that's in this clip, I asked him, when you're landing, are you holding any back pressure on the yoke to keep the airplane at your desired airspeed? To which he said, yes, I hold back pressure. I have to pitch up to slow down. So, aha, the light bulb moment for me. Uh, my insight kicked in. So I proceeded to demonstrate for him the importance of airspeed control, emphasizing the use of the trim wheel. So that's what we're going to watch in this lesson, and uh, I'll narrate for you as it goes along. We've established ourselves on downwind to runway 28 at Hartford County Airport. It's a 2,000 foot long runway, which may sound short to many of you, uh, but this is our uh, home base, and my students need to be able to consistently land here uh, to do their solo practice. So I've taken control of the airplane and I'm pointing out to him uh, the altimeter and the airspeed uh, and I'm focusing mostly on the trim wheel here. So I have slowed the airplane down to approach speed. Uh, we're beam the numbers and I just put down 10 degrees of flaps. The power's been reduced and now I've retrimmed the airplane and I'm pointing to the airspeed showing him that we're doing 80 and I'm not doing anything with the yoke. Now we're starting our left base turn and we're putting in 20 degrees of flaps and you'll see me reach over and gently move the trim wheel down just a little bit and constantly letting go of the yoke to see where my airspeed uh, stabilizes. So I've let go of the yoke and I'm showing him that we are stabilized at 70 indicated, which is perfect for this approach. Now we're turning final. I'm adjusting uh, power for my altitude and pitch is our airspeed and I'm using the trim wheel for the pitch. And you'll see me do something that I wouldn't recommend uh, doing all the time. Maybe as an instructor you could do this demonstration. but. I'm showing my student that I don't even need to have my hands on the yoke. If we've got the airplane trimmed for level flight, our uh, wings level, and uh, our airspeed, that the airplane will pretty much fly itself. So I'm going to fly the airplane uh, using the trim wheel all the way to the runway. I'm not even touching the yoke here, and the only time I'm going to touch the yoke is to do the round out in the flare, which I'm starting now. And there you can see we land within the first few hundred feet of the runway with uh, plenty of stopping distance on this 2,000 foot runway. So you can see that by using the trim wheel and setting your airspeed using the trim, the only thing that we need to do to make a nice landing is to adjust our rate of descent using the power. And so we're going to pull off to the side here. Uh, and then we're going to back taxi for the next takeoff and landing. So I hope this was a little bit informative uh, for all of you. And uh, instructors, I encourage you to try this demonstration with your students. It's uh, very enlightening for them to see that the trim wheel uh, takes away a lot of the work that they have been struggling with maintaining the airspeed. Uh, if you've got the airplane trimmed for the approach speed that you want, then the only thing left for the students to do uh, is to adjust their power setting to 
steepen or decrease uh, their rate of descent. Always emphasize that the pitch is the airspeed and the power is their descent rate or power is their altitude. Um, and they'll make good landings every time.